I got a ton of questions about my Reban metas in my last video, so I'm gonna try to answer as many of them as I can here. Okay, Blake Henderson asks, how much battery life without putting it into the case? I would consider buying them for replacing my prescription glasses, but don't wanna charge them in a case multiple times per day. According to the Ray-Ban Meadow website, the Ray-Ban Meadows can last up to four hours of moderate use, um, and it takes about 75 minutes to charge fully in the charging case. Now, from my experience, I would say this is pretty accurate because I did try to test out the battery life on these things from just like filming several things throughout like about 30 minutes. It went down to I think 88% to use the glasses again to like listen to a couple more things uh, and for another hour like less filming and more just like using the audio part after like about a total of an hour and a half the battery life went down to 69% yeah in my experience about four hours is pretty accurate just remember though that you can keep using these glasses even if they're not charged so it's not like you're not gonna be able to see or anything one of the biggest things I got asked was about the transition lenses that I have. So I have the graphite transition lenses. You can see that they're pretty clear here. I'm gonna play some footage of me um, walking around outside with them. And you can see how dark they get in this, uh, in this video. The next couple of questions are about the transition lenses. Um, that was a pretty popular topic. Pamel Cade asks, I don't know if this has been asked, but I noticed you're indoors and the lenses are clear and are dark when you're outdoors. Can you tell me what you did to get these or did you have to purchase extra lenses? So actually I have transition lenses. I'm pretty sure mine are the graphite ones. So you just have to order them. They do seem to be out of stock more frequently than the regular lenses. So probably just need to pre-order them sooner than later. Steve asks, how dark do the transition lenses get? Dark enough or is still possible for someone to see someone's eyes? Um, I'm gonna show some footage of me using it outside like in the direct sunlight by the beach. As you can tell, like they're pretty dark, but you can definitely still kind of see someone's eye. They're not like completely black, but I thought that they work pretty well. Ruin Mask says, uh, I've heard bad things about the transition, clear and sunglasses combo glasses. I think I heard your opinion is different. Any thoughts? Yes, I really like the transition lenses. I think they work pretty well. Like indoors, they're pretty clear. Outdoors, they can get pretty dark and they work well as sunglasses in my opinion. The one thing I will say is that I've never been a fan of the lenses where they're kind of in between being fully dark and fully light and they kind of have this weird shade to them. I don't think that they look that cute, but I think in terms of functionality, I still prefer these over um, over just like clear lenses. Petty Gang asks, do you know if I buy the ones with polarized, I could get them swapped with clear blue lenses at a Ray-Ban location? Um, yeah, so actually like I had the first generation of the Ray-Ban Metas and honestly, it's pretty easy to pop out the lenses. I've done it multiple times. I mean, obviously be careful and I'm not telling you to pop out your lenses because if you break it, like I don't want to get in trouble, but like, you know, if you wanted to try to, it's not that hard. So time space asks, are these large, which is the standard size or the extra, extra large? And these are just the large size. Um, I've noticed that with many people, the extra large ones are a bit too big. So if you're not sure, unless you know that your head's really big, I would say go with the large size or standard size. So in my last video, I also talked about how you can use these glasses to live stream, which I've actually now done on Instagram and it's pretty cool. Day do do don't de do <laughs> as if you have to live stream footage or can you just record to memory and transfer to your pc and can you do the same with photos um, because they're not into streaming but good if you can record parts of your life to keep uh, yeah you don't have to live stream whatsoever it just actually like the default on this is just for you personally so it's just like using your phone to take photos and videos and um, you can just access them on your app you don't have to live stream but the live streaming feature is pretty cool and it's only available on on Instagram. Friends W asks if my footage from 558 are from my glasses and just cropped and what's the quality like where if you were to crop the videos horizontally. Now with the Ray-Ban Metas one of the things I don't like about them is that they only export uh, footage like photos and videos in vertical. It's optimized for social media. So this person's basically asking if I was to crop the footage would it look still pretty decent and yeah actually at 558 that is 
from the glasses itself and it's just cropped. So it worked. It's pretty good. But like the quality of an iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, Super Zero asks a pretty important question about how this product affects the user's privacy. Like I said in the last video, these glasses do have a white LED when they're filming and they do make like a snapping sound when you take a photo. I'm pretty sure that when I'm using these outside in public, no one can tell that I'm recording or taking photos or anything. So I try to just avoid getting up in someone's space, but I don't know how to solve this. It's a very really complicated situation. Time audits asks if I can record multiple one minute videos and edit them together to make one long video. And would it seem continuous? Yes and no, because it stops after one minute. So you do have to press it again to start the recording again. So even if you do it really fast, there's going to be a couple of seconds missing in between, but I have done this. I do wish that there was a feature to like burst record videos, but uh, meaning like, you know, record them all like one after another, but no, that's, that's not built in right now. Okay, Nicholas Barris Ford asks, how do you set up the AI function? And you don't, it's just built into there. So you don't have to do anything. You just set up the glasses normally and it just exists there. AI just exists. Clutch on YouTube asked, but like, can't other people hear your music? And I mean, pretty, yeah, pretty lightly though. Um, if you recall in my last video, there was a video of me um, sitting behind my mom uh, about just like a couple, like maybe two feet behind her and she's listening to music and I can hardly hear anything. I'm holding my phone recording uh, directly behind her and you couldn't really hear that much. I mean, you could hear it very, very lightly if you're close enough, but not really. Richard Mejia asks if live streaming works on any platform like TikTok and YouTube or just Meta, which is Facebook and Instagram. And actually it's just Instagram at the moment. You can't even live stream on Facebook. Uh, Mike Hernandez asks, hey, are you able to video chat with them or WhatsApp? And I wish, I wish that you could. Oh my gosh, that'd be such a cool feature. Um, I, I feel like that's something that they can roll out pretty easily with like a software update. So I'm hoping that Meta slash Ray-Bans does update the software to do that. But at the moment, no, you cannot video chat from them. I mean, that would be so cool though to be able to like show your friends and family uh, what it looks like wherever you are. And Supa Manix asks, can you connect them to your PC and use them as a regular headset on team calls and or to watch movies slash YouTube? So I think there's a little bit of confusion here. Um, these are not augmented reality glasses. They don't have any screens on them. So you can't watch movies slash YouTube. But if you mean, if you can connect them to your PC to like just listen to audio, if your PC has Bluetooth, like the Ray-Ban Metas connect via Bluetooth. So yes, you can use them as earphones, I suppose. And yes, I do use them as earphones. I pretty much have not used um, any other earphones aside from these for the most part. I use these like 97% of the time. And the last piece of information, which I think is interesting because I have recommended these glasses to a lot of people. I really like them. I think they work really well and um, I use them all the time. I think my favorite type, my favorite way to use them is when I'm driving and I need directions and I can just put them on and like listen to directions without bothering the rest of the people in my car with uh, the sound of directions. But there is one concern that I started hearing a lot lately and uh, James L. Weaver has said it here as well. Uh, he said, I just received a pair of these glasses, but seems to have to position them just right to pick up my voice. Too snug on the bridge of my nose, for example, seems to prevent from hearing me, hey meta. Have you heard anyone else with this issue? Um, the hey meta is what triggers AI on these, by the way. And um, yeah, I actually have heard someone else having the same exact issue, but I almost wonder if it's what the AI is trained on. For example, when I talk to home assistants like Alexa, Alexa can never hear the register of my voice. Like I think my voice is a little too high pitched for what Alexa was trained on. So usually when I talk to Alexa, I have to like lower my voice to like a lower octave. And my friend who had the issue with these glasses being able to hear or register his voice, he has, you know, like a male voice. And I assume James that you have a male voice voice as well. So I wonder if it's just what it's trained on, but I have heard this issue as well. So for anyone looking to buy these glasses, just something to keep in mind. Uh, these glasses are linked in the description and um, I've been using them for like two months now and I still love them and I still use them like almost every single day. They're great. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions and make sure to subscribe so you can see any other content that I put out. Thanks.